Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. Or if you're a returning viewer and you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, so today I'm coming to you guys with another chatty synthetic half wigs with headbands video. This is part four. I started doing this back in, uh, I think, it, I think I started doing this back in August and you guys responded really well to it because um, the headband wig trend started in July with the human hair headband wigs. And some of you guys wanted some, you know, really inexpensive alternatives that were synthetic. And I started doing those videos and you guys enjoyed them. So I'm coming to you guys again with part four. I wanted to try two of the ones that Al Shrey dropped a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna feature those in this video. I have five to show you guys and I'm just gonna try them on and see how I feel about them. But before we get into that, this portion of the video is brought to you by Skillshare. I have been talking about them a lot over the last uh, two months or so. So Skillshare is an online community where they have thousands of classes. These classes are for everyday people, creative and curious people. So you don't have to be like, a creative professional but these classes are for creative professionals as well as everyday people who are just curious to learn about different uh, things like photography, painting, how to do a floral arrangement. I saw that on there. I over the last couple of months have been watching videos on interior design and I feel like I'm learning a lot and my spaces are starting to look really really beautiful. I cleaned my office this this weekend. Right now it's looking crazy because I'm filming again but it's it, it looks really cute in here and I'm gonna do an office reveal for you guys probably during my break. The most recent class that I watched was called Stage the Perfect Instagram Flat Lays to Showcase Your Art by Peggy Dean. Um, you guys know I'm a planner babe and I take pictures of my planner several times a week so I have to stage flat lays and flat lays are pictures that you take from above at a 90 degree angle and you and you feature different products and stuff in it. I think I'm stepping up my game with my flat lays and stuff like that so um, that's one of the classes that I have recently watched and I watched it while I was doing my makeup because I'm a very busy person, okay? And I know a lot of you guys are busy as well. So I have tons of classes that are under an hour and a lot of classes that are under 30 minutes. So if you're busy, they do have a class for you um, that's not gonna take up too much of your time. With Skillshare, it's less than $10 a month, which is really good, but they also are offering a premium like membership down below for the first 1,000 people to click that link. So if you are interested in learning some new things, then, take advantage and click that link down below. Shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So let's get into trying on some more synthetic wigs for you guys. So who are we gonna start off with first? Okay, so this particular wig I'm gonna start off with is Outre's Shantae and it's in the color number two. Most of the colors I have are gonna be twos or like browns, nothing like crazy. So. This is what Shantae looks like on the stock card and I have been seeing her a while online on different websites and stuff. So she, her price ranges from like $16 to $20. Um, so she's very inexpensive. So Shantae to me looks a little bit silkier than the rest of them. The rest of the wigs that I have are all like yakky textured. So this is what she looks like. She's a short everyday wig. So she has the new kind of construction from the half wicks from Altre. So she doesn't have that big comb that they used to have back in the day that would pull your hair out. So she has the smaller combs, two smaller combs. And then we have a longer comb in the back. It's not super long, but it's longer. And then we have adjustable straps. So I am just gonna try it on to see how it fits in my head. This is a cute little, little number. Okay, so to me, I feel like she's she is very comfortable, very big head friendly. So I have my dry shampoo on deck. So in the wig world, if you are a newbie, uh, we use dry shampoo or baby powder. I don't use baby powder anymore. I think dry shampoo is a lot less messy. Uh, we do this, we spray this on our wigs that are a little bit too shiny. So this one is a little bit shinier than I would like. So we're gonna knock that shine down. And I'm gonna brush it through. Okay. 
go ahead and put my wig grip on. And if you are new to wigs completely, wig grips are in existence, so you don't have to use the combs on your wig. I still use the comb in the back because I don't, my hair is actually longer in the back than it is. It's healthier in the back than it is up, up top. This is a way you don't have to use the combs in the front so you don't damage your hair, but it also keeps your wigs from sliding. So highly recommend having a wig grip. I will have all of my wig essentials listed in my Amazon storefront and that will be linked in the description box. So definitely support my links. Uh, when you support my links, you support my channel. Oh, this is like, well, with this robe and everything and the pearls, very much giving housewife. Do I want that headband? Let me try something else. Okay, so here is Shantae. I have it on with just a black headband. I think this is a cute, conservative, everyday kind of wig. It might even look better, like, blended with your natural hair. Like, but I'm not doing that because my natural hair would not blend with this because this is more on the silky side but what i will say i like the style of this and i like flips and everything it has going on i think this is very pretty so this is what she looks like in all angles a very sophisticated little cute wig under 20 dollars depending on where you purchase it from The next wig is by Model Model. This is their drawstring full cap wig. And I have it in the style blue blazer. And the color I have is OM430P. And this is what she looks like on the stock card here. It's like a blown out kind of look. So this wig is gonna look like one of the new Outre Nisha half wigs. And I also have that Nisha 302 and then this is blue blazer over here now they don't look that much alike in the stock art pictures but in person they look alike so we're going to start off with blue blazer and see what she looks like and i'm going to take my wig cap my wig grip off to see how it fits and feels so this is blue blazer you guys can see just by the luster that it is a very um it's a natural textured wig it is teetering on being dry though. It feels dry. This is what the ends look like. They're kind of like tapered ends. It has a dark root on there. Then we have that long comb in the front. Then we have a comb in the back. And then we have that drawstring. So I'm gonna wear my wig grip, of course. Then we are gonna put this on. Oh gosh, let me see. Let me see what this feel like without that. Oh yeah, this is. Ooh. This cap is small. So if you got a big head, I don't know about this one. Okay, get into this texture. So the feel of it does feel dry, but I think it's very pretty. So this is Blue Blazer. Let me see how much she costs. It depends on where you purchase her from. She's like $11 on Glamour Tress right now. So that's really good. I mean, you, if it fits your head right, then go ahead and get it. But it is very, very small. I can't keep this on. Or I can't keep it, period, because it's squeezing my head. But this is what she looks like. Very pretty. Love the brown color. Too bad, because this is only $11 and it's very pretty. So I just put it on with this pearl, pink pearl headband here. So, cons about this one, it feels dry, but it looks very natural though. And the cap is too small, so that's the cons we have with that. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? All right guys, next wig. So this wig pretty much inspired this whole 
uh, part four because about a month ago, it's been about a month now, um, Deanna Monet, she posted this picture, I'm gonna insert it, and she was wearing Nisha H301 and immediately I purchased it. Like, as soon as I saw her picture on Instagram, I went on, I went on Glamour Tress and, pick, and picked it up. So, uh, the next week is gonna be Nisha H301 and a color number two. That is what she looks like on the stock card there. I did not get a color, I just got it in a number two. We have those two small combs right there. You got a comb at the back and adjustable straps. So let's see what it feels like. And hopefully it feels better than the last one. Cause oh my gosh, I actually really like the last one, how it looks and everything. And I don't really care that it feels dry. Um, it looks natural, but the cap size was entirely too small. So. We'll see how this feels. I'm gonna try it on without a wig grip. Okay, okay. Very, a very big hit friendly. Very big hit friendly, that's good. So, I'm gonna adjust my wig cap. And then I'm gonna put my wig grip on. We might have a winner here. Cause I am having a wig sale on December, on Sunday, December 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so the ones that are not working for me in this video, they will be listed in that, in that sale. So my wig sale informational video is probably up by now. Um, it's not gonna be a long one. I used to do like super long winded wig sale videos and super detailed. I'll go through every single wig, but it's not necessary for me to do that anymore. It's not gonna be as big as November's because I sold so many wigs in November, but I'm gonna be selling, it's gonna be a smaller wig sale, but it's still gonna be good. So this is what Nisha H301 is looking like. Oh. Okay. This is glamorous right here. So, oh wow. Wow. Now this hair looks like it goes really well with this robe. It looks very luxurious and glam. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hair like this always reminds me of Christmas pictures. I say this all the time, like, this is so pretty. Okay, so let's put a headband on because I'm not blending my hair, but with this texture, I could blend my hair. I'm gonna try this cream one with pearls on it and see how we feel. Okay, this is really gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This one is perfect. I love this one. This one so far is the best. Oh my God, the layers that it has, the luster, how full it is. This is special occasion hair. It's gorgeous, y'all. So glamorous and full. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's about 16 inches on me and I'm six feet tall. About 16, 14, 16 inches. I love this one. I don't have any cons about this one. I mean, a few strands of hair. Let's see how much it is. On wig types, this wig is $15.94. And then on Glamour Trust is $20, so I mean, this wig is $20 and below, but on average it's probably cheaper than $20. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this one is the one. I like this one a lot. So let's move on to the other, shall we? All right, moving along to the next one. So I'm gonna try the Outre Nisha H302. 
Um, and I have this one in color DR2 slash Honey Brown. This is the one I showed you guys like right next to Blue Blazer. Well, just off rip, I can't keep Blue Blazer because it's too small. So hopefully this one has a nice um, big head friendly cap. So this, yeah, this one is not like Blue Blazer. This one is a yakky texture, but it's definitely more um, of a light, lighter yakky than the one blue blazer was like a blown out texture. This one is like somebody that has natural hair and had it flat ironed. That's the texture of that's the texture of this. Very beautiful and it has some layers in it. Uh, blue blazer did not. Uh, this one has two smaller combs in the front. The new construction of the outre half wigs. Then we have a comb in the back and adjustable strap. So let's see how this feels and fits. Already very comfortable, very comfortable. As you can see, it doesn't have as much volume um, as Blue Blazer. So they're not very similar, actually. They're not similar, not to me. This is really pretty too. And this is not like a super bright, like 27 kind of brown. This honey brown is gorgeous. I don't think I've tried honey brown before. I like this. Okay. I really might just keep both of the new outre ones because so far I'm loving them. And just a reminder, December 23rd on my channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be my favorite wigs of 2020 video. You guys know I've been doing those favorite videos. Um, favorite wigs of whatever year it is since about 2015. So I'm gonna continue that this year. You guys voted for um, Christmas pajamas, like that be the theme. So I already have my pajamas on deck. Um, I'm not doing the award style like we did last year. I might do that next year, but this year we're just keeping it chill and I'm gonna have some special guests just like I did last year. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So mark your calendars, December 23rd, my year end favorites video for my wig. So be there and watch it with the premiere squad. Cause I know it's going to be a lot of fun when, when it's a lot of people and everything It's a lot of fun. Okay. I'm reading a card. It says new half wig cap requires less leave out and lays flat. I agree. Cause I've, you know, I used to wear the half wigs from Altre and back in the day from back in the day and they a lot of them at the front did not lay flat so this is right up my alley because you guys know i love sensationals alpha woman that's my favorite synthetic um half wig so absolutely yes yes i like this a lot i'm just roll with this one again nothing wrong with that and if you are interested in any of the headbands I have on, I do have some linked in my Amazon storefront as well. So if you just want some suggestions on different headbands, I do have a lot of them linked on my Amazon store. So shop that if you are interested. So this is what she looks like. Okay. She's about 18 inches, 16, 18 inches. She has a great density. It is not too thick, but it is not thin. It's perfect. And then this color combo is gorgeous. You do have a dark root. So if you have dark hair like me, it doesn't look like crazy. So here is Nisha H302. We have a winner here. Look at that. We got a winner. Very pretty y'all. And this one is the same price. It's um, Wig Types has it for $15.94, Sam's Beauty $16.99. I'll have like general links down below. And if I have any affiliate links from Amazon, I'll put those down below too. So, ooh, ooh, we though, hold on. Okay, loving it, still love it, but I just got an insane amount of shedding here. I don't know where that came from because it's no lace to cut. So I, I don't, you guys probably can't even see that. So it was a good amount of shedding, but I still really like this. So keep that in mind. So far, no issues with tangling, but shedding for sure. But this is gorgeous. 
Let's move on to the last one. All right, and the last one we have is from Free Tress, and this is a drawstring full cap wig from their um, from their Natural Me line, and it says it's texturized hair that blends effortlessly. Um, and this is in the style Natural Roller Set, and I have it in a 1B. So that's what she looks like on the stock card. So it kind of looks like a textured version of Shantae here. So let's see what we got going on. I don't know, let's see, I might wear my hair out and see. But my hair is a number two and this is a 1B. 1Bs are really, really dark to me. Yeah, it's a pretty dark wig, pretty, pretty dark. So let's see how she fits. Yeah, she's comfortable. She is not super tight. So it looks like a short version of the H301. It looks like a shorter version. This is cute. Like, I know with the pearls and everything, it looks like super like conservative and stuff, but I don't mind. So I've been filming for like a couple hours, probably like, I don't know, three or four hours. So I'm just making sure I don't look greasy. This is beautiful. All right. I don't know if I want to pull my hair out though. I might bring out some of my natural hair and blend it. But of course you can just wear a headband with it, but we are gonna see since my hair is somewhat straightened, if I can get this to blend. So I'm just taking out some of my hair. Not a lot. And I am gonna put my wig grip, put my wig cap on. Get my wig grip. Okay. And I'm gonna put the wig grip, um, the comb underneath the wig grip just so it's not as much tension, but I know I'm gonna need a bit more security. Okay, so I just pulled out a little bit of my natural hair and I'm gonna blend it. Oh my gosh, when the last time I blended my hair, like, well, with a human hair when I did that recently but I haven't done this with a synthetic one in a long I got my hot comb here I'ma just hit my edges a little bit not a lot because I want to wear it as a half week this is so pretty okay so I got my hot comb uh heated up a little bit so I look so <laughs> like conservative like with the pearls, you know? So let's hit my roots with a little bit of heat. I might be in love, cause this looks good. Since this is a natural texture, you don't have to put edge control on. Whoa, I put too much. And lay my edges down a little bit more. This is goals. Like I wish my natural hair looked like this. Was this thick? But I'ma fake it till I make it. So now that I have this, I definitely won't be keeping Shantae cause this one looks more like it's my hair cause it's a yakky texture. Let me make sure I got, I got that wig line covered. I think this is so pretty y'all. This is about uh, 12 inches long. Perfect for every day. If you are somebody who keeps your hair kind of in the like straightened state and you have more of a um, kinky texture, this is perfect to blend with your hair. Okay, I'm back. 
So I like this one a lot. Um, I, I have noticed I've gotten quite a bit of shedding from this one though. So that's the biggest con I have with this. It's shedding quite a bit and it does feel pretty dry. Um, the ones from Outrate, like the, the Nisha, the Nisha's didn't feel dry. This one feels dry, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And even though this is a 1B, it still blends pretty well with my natural hair. So I'm not, you know, mad at that. So if you are interested in this wig, you can head over. I'll have all like links and stuff down below where you can decide to purchase it where you want to purchase it. If I have affiliate links, you know, support my channel and use those links but it's up to you decide where you want to purchase it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family um and talk to me down below which one was your favorite which ones have you tried already which ones are you going to pick up make sure you are subscribed and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys